beyond the priority that's given to the Kiwi, given to Kiwis and the analysis. Yeah. What guarantees are there really, though, that down the track yeah. the, the 49% won't end up in foreign hands? Well, the first guarantee is that we know majority control has to be held by the government. That's the first thing. The second thing is there's no particular reason for all of a sudden every New Zealand investor to decide that that's not a good idea to hold their shares. If you think about Kiwi Saver accounts, they're often investing for a 30-year horizon. We know Ewe are going to invest for a very long horizon. We know the New Zealand Super Fund and ACC will be long term investors. So it's just not credible to believe that every single shareholder is going to sell all their shares. And actually if you go and have a look at the contact um, share register, uh, registry, that, that's a good example of, of how in fact you know, it's been widespread and held by New Zealanders over a long period of time. But there's no technical guarantee though is there? Well the, the absolute guarantee is majority will be held by yeah, the New I mean Zealand for the government. 49% there's no technical guarantee? Technically no, but I mean in reality I think you know, we live in the real world and in the real world every New Zealander is not going to sell, why well, would they, they're good long term companies. Well even that government proportion, is there going to be legislation to make you not allowed to sell the other half? I think the feeling is we don't need that, but look we, we have built up over the last three years I think a very strong sense of trust with the New Zealand public. Uh, when I say I'm not going to sell beyond uh, 50, you know, maintain 51%, I'm going to sell more than 49%, uh, I think New Zealanders will take me at my word, I can't buy in future parliaments, but my view is it would be highly contentious for any um, future government to want to sell down the majority state.